In our last few videos, we talked about using a Boolean variable in order to toggle between states of a thing, either turning a light on or turning a light off or switching between two frames in an animation. Now, Boolean variables, uh, which are variables that are either true or false, are limiting in that there is only an option A or an option B. And there are circumstances where you would want to have more than just two options. In this video, we're going to talk about using conditional statements and a variable that contains a number value in order to be able to toggle between more than two states, specifically different frames of an animation. So just as before, we have a soccer player here. However, I added a third jersey and we wanna be able to switch between or cycle between each of those jerseys. So we have to take a different approach because there are three, not just two. So let's click into our soccer player and start coding. So first things first, we need the onStart function in order to just set kind of the default for when the room loads. And so we'll do set frame one and then end. Now, just as in a previous video, we need to declare a variable. However, this time we won't be assigning it a true or false value, we'll be assigning it a number. And so we'll just call it jersey and then we'll set it equal to one. Now for the on click function that will cycle through the jerseys. So we do function on click and let's start with the adding numbers so that the jerseys cycle from the first click. And so what we can do here is we can say jersey equals jersey plus one. And what this represents is this value right here is the old jersey value, which was one. Then we're adding one to it and then we're assigning that new value, which is two, to the jersey variable again. So jersey now represents two. And if jersey was two and we did this, it'd be two plus one and jersey would now be three. And so that's how we get that uh, increasing value. So let's set up our conditional statements here. If we could say jersey equal equal one, then we can set frame to one. And here's where you can add in something we haven't talked about before, which is an else if statement. And this is a way for you to add in more than just an if, if or an else. And so this gives us our additional options. Jersey equal, equal, equal two, then we can set frame two. And then this is where we can employ the else because all of the other options are accounted for. And we can say set frame three and the conditional block and end the function. So let's preview it and see what we got. When we click preview, we can see that we are able to see all three of the jerseys, but there is an issue, is that after we get to three, um, we don't cycle back to one. And so this right here on line nine uh, works for the first round, but it doesn't really reset it. And so we actually need a second conditional statement here. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll just delete this. We'll re end up rewriting it, but it's okay. So what we wanna say is if the Jersey value is less than three, then we can do the Jersey equals Jersey plus one. Else, we just wanna say Jersey equals one. And so that means that if the Jersey value is three when we click it, it will cycle back and be assigned to the value of one, and then it will reset the frame to one. So let's see if that works. It, oh, oh, I need to end my conditional. That's a good catch. Uh, let's hit preview here. And then we can see that we are able to now cycle through all three of the jerseys. So this is a great setup. Um, you don't always have to use it with set frame, but it's a way to have different options and be able to use a numerical value in order to dictate which item or which animation is seen. So for those of you that are looking at this specific example, there's actually a shortcut that we can take that doesn't require us to use this conditional set at all. What we can do is set the frame using the Jersey variable value. And so what we can actually do is just say set frame and then instead of putting a number in here, we can put Jersey and this will actually work the same way. Now this isn't the case in all examples, but in this particular example where we're using a number to represent a condition and that number is the same as a frame, this example works. And so as you can see here, 
I was able to remove that long conditional and just use the numerical value that is represented by the variable to also indicate the frame that I want to display of the animation.